welcome to War of Enigma. Links here. We've kicked Thai ass uh, and so on. I wonder if we will go to that island or not. Will we do anything? <laughs> Maybe. What will happen to our color? Hmm. Is it morning already? Uh, okay, sleeping noises. Hmm. Laura is still asleep. I shouldn't wake him. What you not gonna do? It's cool. I think I can't be sure about my senses anymore. So you are even losing that. Oh boy. Crazy. I can see white breath. So it is. Cold then. That girl. And Virio, was it? I didn't understand what she meant at the end. What was all that about colors or whatnot? I wonder if it's related to that forest somehow. Color. In a white forest. It might be a good idea to have another conversation with her. I can't go without telling Laura anything. I kind of want I kind of want to go, <laughs> not gonna lie. But he will be pissed about it, right? Mm, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, but Okay, let's not get him pissed. He got really angry last time. <sighs> this is way too cold. I better get back inside. I was so tempted to go hopeful. So tempted. Anyway, I thought of a few others, but regardless which cabin we use, we'll have lots of things to do. I can imagine gathering suitable wood would prove no easy task. Hmm. Ah, that part's gonna be easy. I'm a lumberjack, remember? Alright, so that's why you've got all of that muscle despite your build. Where? He's as muscled as I am, so not at all. At least I have the better trade. <laughs> Don't say this bite. You're not exactly a bodybuilder yourself. <laughs> I mean, I guess only Greta knows. I guess you could say I'm on the sick side if you compare me to the to that tie. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Tie? <laughs> Was he just here? Yeah. What the hell is he doing? He was behind us. I think we're all heading the same way. You know, you can be quite a bastard sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps. I never took him for such a scary god for. <laughs> Dude, have you seen that scene? I feel pathetic for never standing up to him now. Well, good thing you know now. Yeah, that's for sure. You're not weak, Lauro, and you're not a coward. Yeah. You're just a little bit... Uh, simple. Uh, what part of me is simple? Like how you can get angry so easily. At the same time, it's one of your good parts. If you were trying to make me glad you're failed. <laughs> Whatever. Come over here for a bit. I think I'm constantly changing his voice, somehow, whatever already, right? Why are you heading to the forest? To get the wood for the cabin or something like that? There's both of that. I made it myself in secret. Ooh, for it's a really small one. I don't think it can even go offshore, much less reach the mainland. Uh, I see. If Colette found out, she definitely want an explanation. Is that why you hid it there? That's right. I don't fancy going deep into the forest myself, but neither do the others. If I recall correctly, this road leads to... The White Forest. Enigma. Oh, do you know anything about it? 
Not really. I only know that Dad didn't want us to go there because there is a doll living inside the forest. Uh, is that the girl from yesterday? Yeah. Ah, don't ever get too close to her again. You hear? Ah, uh, I was the one who approached her. Yeah, whatever. If you see her again, just run. I don't want to. I really don't want to. It would be nice if I could also learn the reason why. Ah, uh, that. I don't know myself, but it's been said that nothing good comes out of dealing with them since old times. Hmm. But we should fi be fine as long as we don't go too deep into Enigma. I've never met those things on this path at least. I see he didn't go as far as to state they don't appear here at all. After all, we met her on the hill outside of Enigma altogether. But. Hmm? If they did appear, I'd be the one they'd be after. In the worst case scenario, I should at least make sure the boy gets out of this alive. Chester, are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Listen, even the one who made the thing says to watch out for it. Ignis. When I was still a total kid, he told me the doll would gobble me up if I came close. <laughs> Were you trying to do his impression? That actually did sound like him a bit. If I knew, I would do it, okay? It does matter. Anyway, whenever the thief appears, something bad happens. It appears when my parents died too. Anyway, I think we talked enough about this. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Do you get tired? Nope, I'm still fine. Let's have a short break. There is no reason to hurry anyway. Thanks. Thanks! I can see the forest. Enigma. Over there. Yeah. It really is white like snow. We're on the border between the green and white forests. Hmm. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? It's having. I just thought your hair is pretty cool color. Is it fun? Really? But don't you mention it, I haven't seen anyone blonde on this island. Right here! Right in front of you! The one that's blonde! I'm blonde, by the way. It's like, you know, part dark, part light. I mean, I could... Uh, I mean... You know, it's funny how, you know, just going onto the sun and spending some time there will make those hair much lighter. I mean, I don't spend much time outside as I used to, as a kid, I guess. But I really used to have really light color of hair. It darkened, though. It really darkened. But there are some strands that are light. I mean, you could see it even. Whatever, really. I don't need anyone like you even among the outsiders. It's not such a red coron listener for. I guess I just didn't know. I bet only a small fraction of outsiders reach this island alive anyway. Oi! Uh, sorry. Oh, you can't tell the number of accidents exactly. Wait, what did you say? Okay. Yeah, well, great, I might know. What about genius then? Genius! You know him! A middle-aged guy with quite a mouth! With quite... Uh, I didn't know we had anyone like that on the island. He seems to be always goofing around these parts. I think you should have met him at least a few times. I see him in the park most of the time. Say hi the next time you meet him. He's quite lonely here. Uh... You mind the Fountain Square? Well, I guess I can try to speak with him sometime. But I doubt I'll have the chance to go there a lot after this. Right. I myself won't be able to go there either. Hopefully, I'll run to him one more time. We exchange a promise to have a drink together after all. Hi. Hmm. Maybe I should grow my hair longer like you. What's that all about all of a sudden? I actually prefer having a bit longer hair. Now it's too short. God damn it! And they piss me off. 
You think it would look weird? I don't know, man, what he's complaining about, actually. His hair looks great now. No, 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 no. For, I think short hair suits you just fine. I mean, this is kind of, I don't know, in my opinion, this is kind of medium length, but okay. But if you're planning to have it longer, I'd recommend to go further than me until you can at least tie your hair up comfortably. So that's what Ignis is doing, right? My hair guy is so tall, pain in the butt on hot days. I see. Ah, uh, are you being a bit more silent than usual? And you sir is going to burn a hole in me if you keep it up. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not exactly the response I expected. Is there a problem with me looking at you? No, no, not really. Yeah, no, totally. I thought I should burn your face in my memory. Huh? You smiled, you know. For... My marvels... My marvel smiles and unforgettable. <laughs> Say something at least, or I'll start crying! It's better than adults, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we should go. <laughs> you said it. I want to see Envirious smile. From a closer look rather than white. It looks as for it doesn't have color at all. Hmm. Laura, is it around here? Yeah, the lake is just over there. A lake? Is it a big one? No, it's pretty small and shallow too, but it's good enough for a small boat. And here we are, the slope slipper here, be careful! Alright. Mm -hmm. This road followed along the very border of the two colors. It's changing into green. Oh my god, I almost spilled the tea. <laughs> so close. So close. I guess it does look like the color is eroding the nothingness. Okay, I spilled a little bit, but barely anything. I left my boat near these rocks. Huh? Laura? 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 Who are you here? And Virio and the forest are one and the same. Your question makes no sense. Get away from my boat! Is this yours? I see you're better with wood than Ignis. And Virio! Hello. Vet. One more time. What, your name? Yes, it's the first time I felt like you truly called out to me. Say it one more time. Uh, okay. Hey, don't, don't go anywhere near us. Go back to the forest. This is the inside of my forest. And this is who you who came here. I have no business with you. Chester. And Vilrio holds your voice in high regard. It was the first time we heard our name was truly called. Your call will doubtlessly reach Enigma. I want it. And I can wait no longer. Your color shall be. Chester, run! Get out of the forest! You want him too? In that case, and video shall take you both. But don't be afraid, with that, all of us will be one. Louder. Run! To the hills! <sighs> yeah, I should have brought my bow. You can use a bow. I suppose we could use it to slow her down. Chester, are you alright? Uh, yeah, but more importantly... Yeah, it seems like we can't leave the forest. What the hell is going on here? Where did all those trees on the road come from? Laura, I think I can see a still possible road over there. Of that is Ignis's house. Let's go. Uh, are you sure? Well, it's better than just standing here, and she seems to be drawing closer. Okay. Hey, I hope Ignis, old man. 
God damn it, why now of all times? Lauro, get out of the way. Ah, uh, okay. Kick in. I know you're inside, Ignis. Could you please open the door? Your doll is after us, and we need your help. So you were inside! Hmm. You were so gruff, I mistook you for a wild beast. You bastard! I ask for a protection from your doll, and if possible, for a way to get out of this forest. <sighs> protection. I might have made it, but I did not possess the power to control it. And even if you would escape the forest, you could never escape it. As long as you're on this island. No, on this world. Okay, I don't want to discuss my illness right now, Agnes. All we want to escape right now is your doll. Just... Uh... If there's really no way, then please at least take our view. The doll is after me. Huh? What are you? Indeed. As long as it can get its hands on you, it has no interest in anything else. At least. For now. As such, my protection matters little. I see. I see. I see. What? What the hell do you see? What the hell are you talking about? Don't even dare to say you're going to sacrifice yourself for some shit. I'm not going to sacrifice myself. I'm her target. I can buy time. Well, you. Are you thanking me for an idiot? What are Black doing with the load? The roads are blocked and we don't even have any weapons. Laura. I'm doing it. I'm just not doing it. Calm down, Laura. Listen to me. <laughs> Freak off. I know what you're going to say. That, <coughs> that you're dying anyway. So that's better. No way I'm listening to you. It doesn't matter if you're going to die today or tomorrow, I'm not leaving you. <sighs> no way. No way, Chester. Mm. Louder. Thanks. You're kind to a fault. As such, please calm down and listen to me. I'm planning to escape the island. I'll do as you say. I want you to run away. How are you going to... You're planning to escape the island. Uh... I mean, there is a boat, I guess, but Ignis said you can't really escape, right? I'll do as you say. So I guess you are keeping group and so on, right? What I would do, let's say I'm dying, I want, I'm with someone around that is important at the moment, and if they stay with me, they die, and so on. I would just get myself a sacrifice, I guess. Let's go, I want you to run away. What you said to me, as much makes me feel pathetic, that's the, the reality. I'm going to die soon, but you will live on, no matter the reason you can never let go of life. So you ask me to abandon you? No, you should just choose a path that's best for your life, for my sake too. How am I supposed to do that? You said we're friends. You're my friend, aren't you? Avoiding one's friend is so different from abandoning oneself. Louder. Thanks. Yeah, we are friends. Huh? Just... And that's why. You're my precious friend, Laura. I'm the one who has abandoned you. Would I be correct in assuming that doll is a living thing? I'm not sure. I suppose you could think of it as a plant. Uh, is this susceptible to fire? It didn't work for me. Hmm. But. It is shaped as a human. If you break that, it will be the end of it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. It's made of wood, yet doesn't burn. It might look human, but we're nothing alive. Which makes me wonder, is there something like that? Is there a specific type of wood that doesn't burn? Would there be something like that? I'm curious now. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I thought maybe there is a specific tree or whatever that wouldn't burn for some reason. Anyway. Once he finished the other design, that insights came alive on their own. In a way, you could say it is a being composed almost solely of magic. It sounds like we have to be a magician or a hero to beat something like that. Even if it was susceptible to fire, what would I do if I ended up setting the whole forest ablaze? I should break its human shape, huh? I don't think I could hide from it just by being silent. I'd better think of the entire forest as her. The longer our encounter takes, the more I'll be at a disadvantage. I should try to end it in a split second. However, how does one do that? I would expect to receive something like this from him. He didn't seem like the type to carry around swords. Unexpected. Or not. Ignis is a pretty mysterious man after all. I wonder who he is exactly. Hmm. I recall seeing this crest before. What are you planning to do with that? Hmm? Do you expect to break and video with that? Uh, thought it would be better than nothing. <laughs> Interesting! That's Ignis' sword, isn't it? Who could have thought he would help you? You must have struck a chord with him. Although he shouldn't have that kind of emotion left. Well, Chester, I think that is enough talk. Huh? Huh? Why do you ha What? It grows out of you. What the freak? I should take your color for myself. Not a patient type, are you? Oh, impressive. You actually cut my branch off. Uh, this is my first time as a lumberjack for. Mo Calm down! <laughs> Unfortunately, you are too slow. You'll not break and video with this. You should not leave me time to rest. Technically, he's probably leaving time to rest for himself, but yeah. <sighs> can hide behind the trees from a forest, I suppose. Good thing the trees themselves are not attacking me, at least. This way too much. I'm already at a disadvantage here. The sole blessing is that she's got her guard down. Chesta, I'm trying to play hide and seek. Good thing this thing survived. But who'd have expected I meet my end at a... Here you are! Ah! Oh, there was sound, okay. Ah, let me tell you something. I advise not to go any further that way. That's a cliff over there. You're gonna fall to your death. Thank you for your kind suggestion. Ha! -ha. He's fast! I see. So we're racking slow on purpose. <laughs> that was close. Yet you are still but a... He left the sword and... Oh, that's nice. That's a good CG. I'll give you sound ahead of the color. Although I'm not the biggest fan of this particular tune. Did he succeed? Red. 
So even those have read inside of them. Or were they made to have it? Poor tasty if I ever saw any. <sighs> Thank goodness. The sky is still blue, all right. Please, don't move anymore. I'm too tired. Hello. So you survived. Were you watching? Ah, man, I would have appreciated some help. Why would I ever do such a thing? But you're helping me now. I that, that I clicked twice, sorry. The charge will give me a headache, you learned I left you to rot. Did he wake up? Not yet. <laughs> I see. He's gonna be angry as a bear when he wakes up. I know you had that. Hmm? Ah, the gun. I had one for self-protection, I didn't expect for it to prove itself in a place like this for. Such a small thing and yet such power! That's technology for you. I can, I can give it to you if you want, I no longer need it. Haha, <laughs> what are you planning to do from now on? What kind of question is that? T Just, uh, where are you? I'll live to my fullest. Mm. Mm. I see. Hey, Jess! Uh, here you are! Hey, ho, Lauru! You pass! How could you? <laughs> exactly! Don't mock me with that grade! There is no need to be angry, just look at this beautiful sky! Don't try to change the subject, man! I'm so glad to be alive! Huh? <laughs> oh, I can imagine him being such a troll, by the way. Um, yeah. I'm leaving the island, no matter what. Oh, I don't know when, but I swear I will do it! So, in preparation for that, you've got to tell me all you know about the outside world. Every day from now on. This is how I'll use the time you gave me. So I can live with your heart inside of me. Alright. I totally had a dirty comment there, but I will not say it. Of course, Laura. Production. Oh, it's the, the end. What? What? It's been only six episodes. Yeah, six episodes. Oh. <sighs> to be fair, for I did some research, and by that I looked first in the achievements. If I think I've done this even before starting the game, maybe I'm mistaken, but yeah. While well, I was playing something else, whatever really. I did it again, right? And... Ah... Like... Supposedly this was, I believe... Wait, was it for... I don't think any achievement pop achievements popped out. Yeah, nothing popped out. Anyway, basically what I'm getting at... You probably know that anyway, so I don't really need to explain. This thing has a tremendous amount of endings. This part supposedly there being three roots of sorts? So like three roots and each has uh, seven or eight each endings, right? Which is crazy. Uh, but... Okay, we'll get to that later. 
Oh, dang, I overslept. I was up till pretty late yesterday after all. She's coming for lunch, so I should probably hurry back. I only came to tell you that I finally finished my boat. But it seems I fell asleep as I remembered your face. You always wore that kind of laid back smile after all. <laughs> it was fun. Whatever I tried, I could never win against you. But that frustration eventually turned into power. I'm genuinely grateful, you know. So thanks. I probably won't be able to come here anymore. But you're fine with it, aren't ya? I'll push forward for your part as well. So better see me off as I leave. I mean, I feel like I'll do anything as long as I have your eyes on my back. And we'll be together even when we're apart. For you are inside of me. So let's keep having blast from now on to Chester. Achievement unlocked in memoriam. A eh, memoriam, okay. So that was one of the endings, apparently. As I said, you know, supposedly three routes, uh, kind of. And if I remember correctly, there was, uh, like, endings for exactly Lauro, uh, for Ignis, and for this one. For Envirio. So, yeah. And each has seven or eight endings. Maybe seven. Wait. How many achievements there were? That, that way I can tell. 22 achievements. So each one has seven endings, I believe. And I think the last achievement is basically clear or the endings or something like that. Um, so I think we'll do this like that. We will have the episodes. So we don't have to play through the same things, right? So we'll only look at stuff that changes the outcomes, gives us different uh, scenes and something like that. I think I can pull this off somehow. Ending list. Oh, we got one, four, eight, sixteen. There are twenty. So there are. Tw What's that last achievement about then? Oh my god. Why am why am I as well? Uh... Ending, 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 ending. Okay, Laura has seven. Ignis has seven. And Virio has five? There is one hidden achievement. Okay. Clear all of them. Connoisseur. Sophisticated tastes. I have no idea what this is about. Whatever. In memoriam, apparently unlocked by 20.9% of people. Just that. What the hell? Anyway, uh, let's end it here. We will continue tomorrow. As I said, we'll... You know, I'll just make slight changes to the choices and that way we don't have to watch over in the video the same thing again, right? I feel like it would be kind of... Eventually it would be kind of... Boring. <laughs> I mean, for you at least, right? Because... I would read basically the same thing over and over. Maybe even repeat the same stories I had over and over. Or I would react the same way over and over. So that would be kind of boring. And other way, we will move forward kind of faster with the series on the channel and so on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for now, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good way. And I'll see you tomorrow in the continuation of Enigma. Bye-bye.